everyone, in today's video I thought I would just explain my chemos and just, I haven't fully explained what an osteosarcoma is and some people already know but it, I, like I've said that it's a bone cancer but I've got the definition of it so a lot of stuff I'll be reading from my iPad so I won't always be making eye contact but I don't know this stuff off the top of my head to be honest. So, um, osteosarcoma is a cancer of the bone which is mostly common in adolescents and young adults. Treatment involves surgery usually followed by chemotherapy or radiation and then you have chemo beforehand as well. So, the first chemo that I'm going to talk about is a th one called methotrexate. Now, they really like like to use this chemo because it's so, it's the best one to use for uh, bone cancer so you normally have methotrexate, cisplatin, doxorubicin and MEPAC which is also known as mifamertide um, but the mifamertide doesn't come until after surgery so um, I can't have the methotrexate because I had a very bad reaction to it um, I had acute liver failure, um, but I, I'm, I've managed to overcome that and now I've got a fully working liver. So methotrexate is a chemotherapy agent and immune system suppressant. So all the chemos are, are immune system suppressant, which basically means that they lower your immune system and you need your immune system to fight infections that's why if you spike a temperature if you're oncology which is like cancer patients um you have to be admitted into hospital for 20 for the lowest amount 24 hours but they like it to be 48 hours um it is used to treat cancer and other different uh, things uh, type of cancer it is used for is breast cancer, leukemia, lung cancer, lymphoma, and osteosarcoma. So a lot of I'll be saying a lot of the side effects um, over and over again with all the different chemos, just because they um, they have like the same side effects. But um, you can have nausea or vomiting, stomach pain. Diarrhea, hair loss, tiredness, dizziness, chills, headache, and more. Um, if you're using methotrexate like long term, so if you have it, I don't know how long you have to have it, but they like to do a liver biopsy, um, just to have a look if it's um, had any reactions. Um, the next one I'm going to talk about is cisplatin which is one that I had last week. I had cisplatin and doxorubicin. Um, and once I got home from having that, I was I was a bit tired, so, and a bit, like, lethargic. But it took me a few days to just get back to being me and hopping around the house and going out and stuff. So it was nice. I've already tried to film this video once, I'm just going to say that, and my phone deleted the video. I don't know why, I think I ran out of storage, but I've made sure that I've got enough storage this time. So, cisplatin is a chemotherapy medication used to treat a number of cancers. These include testicular cancer, ovarian cancer, cervical cancer, breast cancer, bladder cancer, head and neck cancer, lung cancer, brain tumours, and osteosarcoma. Um, and this, this all, all of my chemos go through my line which is a central Hickman line. I forgot to get the definition of that, but if you want to know what that is, it's just, it goes in round about, he oh, let me feel like this. It goes in here, it goes over your collarbone and it goes all the way to your heart. So anything that's been put in there goes straight to my heart and my heart pumps it round and then it gets rid of the chemo. Um, Cisplatin can, like, has some side effects the same as um, methotrexate, it, it can cause nausea and vomiting and it can cause severe uh, like nausea and vomiting. Um, I know when I first had it I was feeling very sick, I wasn't actually sick but I just felt so nauseous, it, it wasn't great. 
uh, diarrhea, temporary hair loss, loss in ability to taste food, hiccups, dry mouth, dark urine, decreased sweating and more. Um, there's the long term of um, cisplatin is plan planetanol. Oh, oh no, that's another word for it. Sorry. Um, it it can use it can get rid of your hearing, so or like can lower it. So at the moment, I've got a bit of um, like. I can't remember the word for it, but it's a bit where my ears are a bit sensitive, basically. So if someone claps really loud next to me or talks really loud or shouts or anything, it, like, hurts my ears and I cover my ears. And I also get this, like, ringing in my ears. And I've spoke to, like, other patients and that, and they said it's fine. So I have to have, like, hearing tests before I start chemo, and then I'll have it once I finish. And if there is any damage, they'll try and work on it. And if it... if it gets like really if my hearing gets like really bad like the the ringing or that then they'll do another hearing test and they might have to lower the dose that they give you the next one i'm going to talk about is doxorubicin and doxorubicin is a red one that i have so um it it slows or stops the growth of cancer cells by blocking an enzyme um cancer cells need the enzyme i can't say the actual the name for it it's just too difficult um, to divide and grow. You might have doxorubicin in combination with other chemotherapy drugs, and I have it with cisplatin. Um, the common side effects, nausea and vomiting can be severe, diarrhea, loss of appetite, missed menstrual periods, darkening of your skin or nails, weakness, tiredness, eye redness, and more. So the... Dr. Rubes in long term effect is it can affect your heart. So I have to have frequent heart scans just to check that my heart's fine because otherwise they can't they they can't give it as good a dose or they can't give it at all if if it gets really bad. So I have frequent heart scans, um I think it's like every eight weeks or something. I can't really remember, but um it tends to affect your heart. Now, because I can't have methotrexate, they've decided to use one called iphosphamide, which isn't usually um, used for uh, osteosarcoma, but they have decided that it's it's the like the option. So they have used it before, um, and it's still worked, but not as good as the methotrexate. So, is it treats a number of different types of cancers. This includes testicular cancer, osteosarcoma, but it's not common, bladder cancer, um, small cell lung cancer, ovarian cancer, and more. Common side effects: nausea and vomiting, diarrhea, stomach slash abdominal pain, loss of appetite, um, mouth sores, or temporary hair loss, and more. Um, it can make you, the long term side effects of iphosmide, it can have a low platelet count, it can cause just hair loss so you, you don't get your hair back, um, like a poor appetite or it can cause blood in the urine. So when I'm on the iphosmide, they give me so much fluids and if I don't, if I'm not um, getting rid of how m enough um, they give me this medication that makes you go to the toilet like loads um, so when I'm on that it's really hard because being an amputee it's quite hard when you're hooked up to the machines so I have to get my dad and like by the time we've gone to the toilet and you have to go in the bedpan in every, like with all your chemos cause, so they can weigh it and um, of the iphosphamide they dip test it so um, by the time like my dad's taken the bedpan down to the sluice um, and come back it's like I need the toilet again so it can be quite annoying <laughs> 
Um, the next one I'm going to talk about is Mythomertide. So this one's a bit different because it's not exactly a chemo, but they still class it as chemo. Um, so this is just a day treatment that I have. I used to have it twice a week. Now I have it once a week. And you have, you have it for about 50 minutes and then you have like a 10 minute flush. Um, it's... It's a drug against osteosarcoma, a kind of bone cancer, mainly affecting children and young adults, which is lethal in about a third of cases. This drug was approved in Europe in March 2009, so this one's like a fairly newish one, so it's like 10 years old. They did a study in America and it's um, seen more survival rates if you have the mifomertide. It can cause nausea, vomiting, a loss of appetite, but these uh, like not these are very rarely so the thing I get off it is flu like symptoms so I get like the runny nose and I'll sneeze quite a bit so with the chemos that I have for when I have to stay in hospital not the day not the mythomertide my dad has to do an injection called the GCSF so he has to inject that into my leg um, and it's, I don't get how he does it, he does an amazing job with it, he's just, I couldn't, I just couldn't do it, because they said I could do it to myself, and I was like, no, um, but he does an amazing job with it, um, and it just goes straight in my leg, and they do tend to switch legs, so, like, you could, one day you'll have it in one leg, the next day you'll have it in the other, but with me they said that they can't do it in the one that I've had amputated, so like the bit that's still there I meant <laughs> not me um so I have to have it in the same leg and it I think the worst part about it is yeah the actual stuff that goes in it like stings kind of it's like quite like a, a sore thing it's hard to explain but it's not very nice so GCSF is a type of drug called a growth factor it increases the number of times uh, n increases the number of some types of blood cells in the blood it can be used with chemotherapy and it can also be used before and after a stem cell transplant so the GCSF helps bring your um like your immune system levels back up so your white blood cells and your neutrophils so that it helps it bring it up quicker it takes about five to seven days to work um and it's like it does help like your levels so it's not a very nice thing to have I have to have it every single day for about two weeks and then um, they tend to finish it three days at least no it's at least 48 hours but they like it to be three days before I go in for more chemo so so I don't I don't it doesn't seem like that long for it to work but it does work because it brings your levels back up for you to have the chemo again so um I'm in on I think it's Tuesday for Mifomertide because I think we switched the days because it is meant to be Monday um but I think we switched the days because I we're gonna try and get me into physio on Monday which is good I had it I had my Mifomertide the Monday just gone as well so um and then the week after I'll be back in hospital again but I've only got three more of the intensive stuff and then I've got day treatments after that so I should finish the first week in December if there's no delays of the intensive stuff and then I'll fully finish about the end of Feb start of March so I should finish before I'm 15 which is what I'm aiming for which is good um, but anyways I really hope you enjoyed this video um make sure you like it and subscribe um and comment down below what what videos you want to see because i know what videos i want to do but i don't know whether you would want to see them so thanks very much for watching bye